Hello everybody. So this week you guys are going to uh, focus on muted colors and um, chromatic grays, okay? So make sure you guys read uh, your chapter and that would give you some more information about it. So um, last week we focused on achromatic grays, which were neutral, so not too uh, cool, not too warm. And um, now you can start playing around with um, doing some gray versions of colors, right? So um, I have a few examples here of like little paintings that I was working on. Uh, so this one is using like, uh, is a little bit more warm, uh, green being like, um, this is like a more greenish gray. And then I have like a kind of like a dull browns kind of going on here. I worked with like uh, pinks. Uh, and then this one has like all the, the three primary colors, which is like a red, green, I'm sorry. That's not primary. Uh, that would be yellow, but I have like a rose red sort of color and I have a green and a blue. Uh, and then I have a background that's like a little bit warm here and then a little bit cooler here. Okay. So I want you to experiment with, uh, of course, all the uh, colors on your wheel and creating some adding started to add like grays to it Okay, and this also kind of ties in with when you start to, to um, add some tones to your uh, To your color wheel, okay, so um, So what I did here was I actually created like a uh, a bunch of like different grays and I use the color blue uh, to show you that there are infinite like muted grays that you can create um, or chromatic grays that you can create by using blue okay and um, I made like a little chart here and I can kind of sorry this is not supposed to be here so uh, this is light and then dark so these colors go all the way from light to dark so that's where the value comes in uh, and then it goes from desaturated to saturated so up here you're gonna have more like blues and then down here is gonna be more desaturated which is going to be like more sort of grays okay so uh, this is a fun little exercise that I did for myself and you can definitely do one for yourself as well um, and uh, what you can do here is just kind of grab all of your little swatches and put them on this like grid in a way or like this chart that I am creating here okay so I have like let me just put all these sort of on here and then I can kind of mess with it okay so I have like my bluest stuff is kind of up here this is not as blue and I would say that this is probably the lightest, right, on this side, and then the most, sat the, this is kind of like slightly dark. And then maybe this one kind of goes here. And then I have this one is like pretty gray. And then this one is like a little blue, but it's like a little bit darker. The more desaturated here. So sorry, my video kind of cut off, but this is what I have at the end. Uh, you can kind of imagine this going on, you know, from light to dark, all the way dark, from saturated all the way to desaturated. So you have more like blue grays, and then over here you have more like gray grays. Um, so start playing around with different colors and how you can create some grays out of them. Um, and start creating some compositions for your color studies okay so they don't of course they don't have to be like actual drawings like this um they could be fast uh but um yeah so that should give you a good idea of what you're doing 